Hey Gator fans, I'm Shelby Grenat. The Florida gymnastics team is coming off a big season opening win at UCLA on Saturday. They are now preparing for another road meet at Auburn this Friday. I talked to Coach Fain and a few gymnasts about the win at UCLA and the upcoming competition. It was a close finish at UCLA for the Gators. In fact, Florida won by the smallest margin possible, .025. Despite the narrow win, the Gators were happy with the first performances of 2014. I was really happy with our performance. I mean, it wasn't the way we wanted to start, but of course you want to get all your flukes and mistakes out there, and so it gives you something to build on. I thought the team had a really great start. I mean, we're obviously not going to be perfect the first meet of the season. We don't want to be perfect. We want to be able to peak towards the end of the season, so I feel like it was a really great start, and we're just going to keep improving off of that. It's a very good experience great experience for our, uh, our newcomers and even our athletes that are um, upperclassmen that haven't competed in years on certain events because you know you could stay at home and have go against an easier competition and that's great but this put them under the fire right away at a very challenging arena very challenging team and they're just going to get better from it and they're going to get stronger from it. For two Gators it was their first time competing at the collegiate level. Claire Boyce competed on floor and beam and fellow freshman Sylvia Calusi Pelayath did exhibition rounds on bars and floor. It was a blast. It was so much more than I even imagined. I was so excited to just get out there and compete for the Gators for the first time and I can't wait to keep competing the rest of the season. It was really great. It was really different. It was actually my first college meet that I've ever been to. I've never even been to watch one so um, it was very different. It was a great atmosphere. One gymnast performances earned her co-SEC Gymnast of the Week. Keitra Hunter won the all-around and floor exercise titles on Saturday. It feels great and it's definitely motivated me to get the SEC Gymnast of the Week instead of the co-gymnast, but um, it's a great accomplishment. I'm really happy for myself and I'm ready to get into the gym and just keep pushing myself. Florida is used to starting off their season at home, but now for the first time since 2003, the Gators open their season with back-to-back -back road meets as they head to Auburn on Friday to start SEC action. The Tigers won their season opener last week against Texas Women's University and are now ranked number 18 in the Gym Info rankings. I think we're just going to try and get a little bit more repetitions and hopefully be a little bit more confident from this. Definitely our stuck landings, um, we miss a lot of those and then just like I said, our confidence, um, just the little things with straight leg, pointy toes. Well, we just really need to um, fix some tiny details and just polish our routines and um, keep up with the consistency. I mean, I just really want our team to go out there and to continue to improve, and especially on the, you know, the mistakes we made last week, um, to just compete aggressively. Again, on the road, we have to really create the energy ourselves and I think that we were a little lacking in some of the energy and it is all new and we have new athletes and some of them are quieter and they really, we really need to be a little bit louder in that sense and um, that's what those little things I'll be looking for and I, um, I feel that our performance will um, improve under that situation. Now the meet at Auburn is this Friday at 8 p.m. You can re-catch all the action on ESPN2 and ESPNU. For Gator Vision, I'm Shelby Grenell.